welcome back to my channel it's leslie here and i'm back with another video today i am going to be doing girl talk girl chat kind of video um i did post girl talk on instagram and a lot of people sent me a whole bunch of different ideas and topics to talk about and a lot of a lot of them were questions also so i am going to be answering some of the questions i guess you can say this is an updated q a slash girl talk but Without further ado, I'm going to get right into this video. The first question is, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Do you think women should stay with a man who cheated on them? Honestly, I think it's up to the woman. If someone cheats on you, you shouldn't be with them. Because then they're stepping out of your relationship. They're not being loyal to you. They're not being faithful. faithful. I do feel like... Once you forgive a person, you are forgiving them not to break your heart again and not to hurt you. And sometimes you love the person and you want to give them another chance and you like them for who they are. See if you guys can work through it. But if there is constant disrespect and there's no respect, there's no boundaries or anything like that, you have to know when to step out of your relationship and just walk away and break your heart. Sometimes you have to break your own heart. I mean, I've been a victim of breaking my own heart to be happy, like truly, truly happy. Sometimes you do have to break your own heart. Should you forgive them? I have. I'm not saying that that's not the best decision to make. Honestly, you should walk away from your relationship and you shouldn't look back. But who am I to say that when I've been in those situations where I forgave them and taken them back? I really, really hate cheaters. I hate people that cheat. I really, really, really despise it i hate it so much i don't know what makes me <laughs> forgive a person but i have been in situations where i forgave my partner and got back and worked things out now you have to know when it's time to leave and never return what is your favorite crossbody purse you love to wear it's stella mccartney the one that you see with the like the the logo going across that is my favorite go-to bag i wear it all the time it's not too big it's not too small it's a perfect size bag i absolutely love it and of course there's other designer mini bags that i absolutely love but for my everyday bag it's definitely the stella mccartney what does your self-care routine look like definitely showering washing my face brushing my teeth also working out at the gym my lashes is another self-care that i do um you know, my nails and my toes, pampering myself. Cleaning. I don't know if that's self-care. But it is mentally. For me, mentally, it makes me feel good. So I guess it would be considerably self-care. Once a man cheat, is he considered a cheater forever? Honestly, I would say yes. But I do have faith that there are people, that there's men out there that wouldn't, they will learn their lesson and they won't do it again. I do believe that. What style lashes do you get? Cat eye and mink lashes. Sometimes silk. I think my favorite now is silk lashes. Knowing a man you've been dealing with isn't right for you, but having a hard time letting go. I say, because I do this myself, when I feel like something isn't right for me, I pray. I pray, I pray, and I pray for God to remove those people that don't belong in my life and don't do me any good. Pray for strength. I'll just pray, God, please remove who don't mean well by me, who you don't see in my future. Like, help me see that and help me build strength to let go and move on. And I'm telling you, you will get the strength and leave. Pray and have faith because it will happen. How do you handle PCOS? I currently have and I feel so unladylike. I just deal with it like a regular person, a person that doesn't have PCOS. The only thing that haunts me is the thoughts that's running through my mind constantly all the time about the things that I want that is hard for me to get. Make sure you're on top of your self-care routines and take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Be healthy. Take those vitamins that you need to take. If you need to lose weight to get rid of PCOS, make sure you're on top of that and lose weight. I've seen several doctors that told me that, oh, well, you don't really have to lose weight because you look pretty fit and yada, yada, yada. Usually women have to lose weight to get rid of it. If that's your situation, make sure you're taking care of your health and be on a diet that works for you that's gonna help your PCOS. And just stay on top of it. Maybe our maintenance is a little extra than most women, but it's okay. Every woman and everybody in this world, we're all different. None of us are the same. And that's what makes us 
unique in our own way. The most important thing is to love yourself and embrace every part of you. Why are females dating more women now? What's wrong with men? Probably that, the cheating BS. Not valuing women and not treating them the way they deserve to be treated. And I guess women understand each other in some part, but I don't know, I've never really dated a girl like for a long period of time, been in a relationship with a girl. So I don't know. Do you prefer the guy to pay or the woman to pay? Uh, of course, I was brought up in traditional ways. Guys take care of everything. But nowadays, things are different. Nowadays, we split bills. Sometimes I'll take care of it, sometimes you take care of it. But it always feels good when my man is in charge and is taking care of things. I do my part and he does his part. And it makes you feel good. How do you get over your boyfriend or husband cheating? How I've gotten over cheating is leaving my relationship and focusing on myself and building my strength back up and building that wall up. When you leave your relationship, you gotta look back, reflect, and remember those things that you don't ever wanna tolerate, that you never wanna go through again. And for your next relationship, you set boundaries. Like, you're not gonna accept this and you don't wanna accept this, and that's that. If it's gonna be this way, then it's not meant to be together. I feel like you definitely need time to forgive someone. I take some time for myself, time that I deserve, because I don't know, about most women, but for me, I speak for myself, when I'm in a relationship, I devote a lot of my time to my partner and I make sure I prioritize my partner all the time. So if I feel any type of betrayal or anything, I know I owe myself me time. I owe myself all of my time. No dividing it, no splitting it, and give me all of me and do everything for me, for me, for me, for me, and all about me. So I feel like to get over a cheating situation walk away from that focus on yourself and do everything you want to do for you and make sure that for your next encounter for your next relationship that you love yourself more than anything in this world and nothing can tear you down and be strong and don't let nobody cross you again what's your biggest regret and everything happens for a reason so i feel like it's always going to be a continuous learning experience i don't want to say i live with any regret every day you learn something new and even if you make a mistake those mistakes are going to help you learn and going to make you grow my favorite fragrance at the moment it's definitely baccarat for a night out my body spray if you watch our previous videos you already know that bombshell is my go-to girls that religiously get their lashes lash extensions this this is so much work and I want to cry. You're not lying, girl. Lashes are expensive and they destroy your own lashes because I have beautiful natural lashes and they're not as full as how they used to be. So that's very sad, but I am addicted, officially addicted to lash extensions and I absolutely love the way it makes my eyes look. I don't really have to put makeup on. I try to go every three weeks. I don't go two weeks, every two weeks. Unless I really, really have to, then I'll go. How do you feel finding out Josue had a baby on the way? Um, when I found out Josue had a baby, was having a baby, we were separate. We were just talking again and we were communicating like every day we started talking and started talking and then one day we were talking about me flying seeing him and just chilling and i was like okay why not i'll go to florida and i think this was around like the pandemic was still going on um and then before i left he ended up confessing it to me over the phone telling me all all the details and he cried and all that stuff and I cried too. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that's happening. It did hurt me at the moment, but of course babies are a beautiful blessing and I love kids. Um, so I wasn't mad at him, but it did hurt me because those are things that we spoke about too. So what do you do to gain motivation if you don't feel like doing anything? Usually I'll look back at like old videos of myself, happy times, good times, working hard and those things motivate me and remind me why i'm here and what's my purpose so usually i look back at things i'll talk to my family hear them talk to them and, and get amped up get excited someone said how do you always look so fire um thank you sometimes i don't feel fire sometimes i do feel fire but i just self-care self-care take care of yourself and be on top of yourself and don't let anybody put you down 
and don't let go of yourself. How are the pregnancy plans going? They're going pretty good. There's several steps that I have to take before actually getting um, medication, fertility medication. So I am undergoing those steps that I have to take that my doctor told me. From there, we'll see. He wants me to make sure I check all these things before they give me medication because they do have some negative effects. So when that time comes, I will be sure to update you all. I definitely want to share my journey, especially for all those women out there that have PCOS. That is the end of my video, Girl Talk. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any video ideas or anything you want me to do or topics you want me to talk about, please list them down in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram because I'm always checking that. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe.